Hey everyone, welcome to Windy Studio and welcome to another brand new Photoshop tutorial. And in this video, we'll be creating a simple poster design as always in Photoshop. And if you are my Patreon supporter, then yes, you will be getting this PSD file and the brushes for free. And also, I would like to thank all of my Patreon supporter for being so supportive. Thank you so much guys, thank you so much for your support, that means a lot to me. And also it helps me to keep on creating this kind of contents. And, and one more update, I'm working on a Blender Masterclass and it's about 4 hour long tutorial video. So I'll provide uh, some updates soon. So if you are interested in Blender, then keep an eye on it. So with that note, let's dive into the video. So here we are in Photoshop and first thing first, let's create a composition. So for that, go to file, click on new. And I will just go for a letter size that is 8.5 over 11. Keep the resolution as 300, color mode to RGB. And let's change the bitrate to 16. And let's keep the rest as default and let's click on create. And now let's uh, drag and drop uh, this main image over here. And let's convert it as a smart object. Control T let's make it a little smaller and sorry about that noise guys because I guess there is some construction going on outside and let's create a layer max go to a brush and let's go for a general brush and let's uh, get rid of these hard edges also get rid of these parts I just want that green part and now let's drag and drop this main sky image over here and let's keep it all the way to the bottom Control T uh, let's maybe let's keep it right over here all right now let's create a hue and saturation and let's desaturate it just a little touch maybe somewhere around here and let's uh, drag and drop uh, this image over here yes let's convert it as a smart object Control T let's make it bigger maybe right around this size all right now let's uh, create a new layer and let's add a shadow on the bottom so go to brush and let's make it a little darker and let's go for a soft round brush and control T let's make it smaller yep. and let's create a new layer and go to the brush and again add a small stroke control T let's make it a small and let's keep it right over here and let's add a new layer and let's create a clipping max and with the same color let's add a little kind of shadow on the bottom so just to give let's drop down the opacity just a little touch yeah uh, maybe somewhere around here and now let's uh, add our main image over here yes and again right click convert it as a smart object control T let's make rotation maybe let's keep it right over here and you know what like let's move all this layer a little up so control T maybe right around here and for the ground let's make it a little bigger yep somewhere around here and now let's add a contact shadow for uh, this player image so let's create a new layer and using the same color and same brush let's add a small stroke right over here and let's make it a little smaller and let's keep it under the main layer and let's drop down the opacity just a little touch and again for this one too let's create a new layer right click create a clipping max and again same thing let's add a kind of shadow on the bottom 
and same goes right over here too uh, now let's add a layer max on this layer 3 create a layer max and go to the brush and this time I will just go for a explosion brush and if you want to download the same brush pack please check on the description list below and let's see I will just go for this maybe I'll just go for this one and let's add a rotation maybe some more maybe some more yep maybe something like that and make sure the color is black and let's get rid of some of these parts and same thing let's uh, add some more rotation and let's add some right over here and let's go for another brush let's say yep maybe this one and let's add a rotation and let's get those parts back i'm just using the white brush and now let's create a new layer and go to the brush again and let's go for let's go for this brush and let's make uh, this color a kind of similar to this one and let's add a little rotation yep and let's increase the brush size and same thing let's add a rotation and let's create a new layer and let's add some particles right over here yep something like that and now let's uh, create a one more layer and go to the brush again and let's change the brush color to a little lighter and let's add some more particles on the back just to give some variation and again let's do a rotation and let's create a new layer and let's add some right over here too and let's add a rotation something like that uh, now let's go over here let's create a new layer again and go to the brush and this time I will just go for let's see which and and I'll just go for this brush and let's add a rotation again yep and let's increase the brush size maybe it's too big let's make it a little smaller and let's change the brush color a little darker yep something like that let's change the color let's see let's try with a little some more darker color let's see how it looks and yep let's go for a kind of darker color something like that all right and now let's uh, create a new layer again and go to the brush and I will just go for my another favorite brush so this is the brush that I use almost all the time on my every design so let's create a new layer and let's go for a little darker maybe somewhere around this color and let's add a brush yep 
Maybe let's change the color. Let's see how it looks if I go for. Yep, let's go for kind of this color and let's create a one more layer and let's go for a little darker color and let's add some right over here and now let's create another layer and using the same brush and let's create a new layer and let's go for a little lighter tone yep something like that now let's add a color lot so go over here let's go over here add a color lookup and from here click on load and i'll just go for my mood lot so if you want to download the same lot check on the description list below so select this one click on load so based on uh that color lot maybe we need to change some of these settings so let's see let's let's keep that one and i guess this brush stroke is is kind of too much so maybe let's uh, remove that one and let's create a new layer and go to the brush and let's add just a simple simple touch yep maybe somewhere around that and let's drop down the opacity and let's create a one more layer and let's add some right over here yep somewhere around that and for this saturation let's drop down the saturation some more maybe right around here now let's merge all this layer and make a copy so for that press ctrl shift alt and e now let's select this layer go to the filter let's apply a camera raw filter and let's uh, increase the clarity and let's increase the texture and maybe dehaze some more yep something like that and uh, from here let's increase the noise reduction from this image and let's increase the color noise reduction too yep something like that and from the saturation let's drop down the saturation for orange just a little touch and let's drop down the yellow a little touch too and for the green let's drop down the greens and let's drop down the aquas too yep something like that now let's click on ok now let's uh, go over here now let's go to the filter and let's apply a neural filter and let's turn on that style and from here let's uh, go for uh, let's see and from here let's go for this one select this one and let's uh, click ok and from here let's change the blending mode to screen and let's create a layer max and let's fill it with black and go to the brush and let's go for a general brush and make sure the color is white and let's get those effects back on some of these parts so i want these effects right over here maybe right around here too maybe some around here and it's completely up to you if you like this effect you can apply it if not then just leave it as you like and let's drop down the opacity just a little touch yep. and let's add some text Now let's add a color balance, um, I don't know, I, I would like to make it like more warmer, so let's add a color balance and let's increase the red and 
camp. Let's go. I think I like this stone better than the better than the other one. So yep, that's the final and I hope you guys learned something new from this tutorial. Before signing up, again I would like to thank all of my Patreon supporters. Thank you so much guys and you guys have a great day. Bye bye.